this video, I wanted to show you guys a few areas in the world that are fantastic for leveling. So gaining XP in Diablo Immortal isn't really that complicated. You just got to play the game and do stuff. Um, some of my general recommendations are make sure that you go into your codex that you're knocking out your uh, like bounties for the day. You can you know, do stuff in the game that gives you battle points, progress your battle pass. Every time you get a level of the battle pass, it does give you a nice chunk of XP. So really you can do any of these activities, all of which are going to give you battle points to add up to, you know, a nice chunk of XP from your battle pass. Um, but the bounties do give a nice chunk of XP. Um, bounties are up here. You grab them from this dude. Um, you can also do things like uh, your little contracts from the Shadow Covenant. If you are a part of that, you can come over here and do these little side quests. Those are kind of cool for experience. Um, but basically knocking out your dailies is a good way to do it. Uh, another really kind of powerful daily is these um, bestiaries, right? So you get three bestiaries that like count towards your, um, your battle pass every day. But you can continue to farm those monstrous essence out in the world and still get a nice chunk of XP every time you complete... Um, or every time you gather 10 monster essence. So the monster essence combined with the fact that you also get battle pass juice every time you turn it in, um, combined with the fact that you can also get these big like kill streaks out in the world, makes world farming a super, super strong way to just grind out levels while also getting tons of mats for upgrades, um, like tons of scrap. You also get tons of gold from doing this, and you can also drop legendaries. So, it's kind of like the rifts. If you decide to use your, if you have crests as a free-to-play player, you want to run your your rifts. I'll grab that for as many crests, and then you can get embers to create um, gems, basically, to or create runes to create gems. But if you don't really, if you're all out of juice for these, and you don't really need embers anymore. If you like, count out of embers, then you can do that. Uh, dungeons are a great way to get set items, but like I'm saying, world farming, I think, is like if your main objective is experience, world farming is actually really solid. For world farming, it's good for XP and legendaries and other stuff. So, once again, the game just allows you to pretty much do whatever you want. Whatever content you prefer, you can grind that, and you'll probably progress eventually. But, um, the reason I want to make this video is because we've been grinding a fair amount. We got we got Paragon 30, and the this area that I'm about to show you was pretty much like responsible for like 25 to 30 and it didn't really take that long either um so you'll you'll see people probably looking for groups for um like library of zult and cool and what they'll do is they'll go to over here to this waypoint right here and they'll farm this area they'll farm this area right here kind of run in circles farm this maybe they'll go up into this path right here and farm this I have seen people farming um, like this area too. I mean, really any area where it's a it's a nice little layout where you can run around, kill mobs. You can do it solo. You can do it as a group. But I mean, I guess I can I can portal over there and show you real quick. I haven't really farmed this area as much, but generally you're gonna find a lot of people farming uh, the the library. You just portal into this waypoint right here. Come over here, and generally for world farming, kind of the things you're looking for. Are like uh, kill streaks. You're gonna want to find some shrines to to use to buff yourself up. But I'm in hell too, so these guys might kick my butt. But yeah, like just this area right here is kind of running in circles, and you'll be fine. I'm surprised that nobody's farming right here, but it's hell too. If, if we go to hell one, you'll see everybody. So there's there's kind of packs of mobs. This guy's chilling, and you just farm them up, farm respawns. And I bet this guy's probably about to do a run. Yeah. Their, their team might be here to farm. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> but so, yeah. You farm this area. And farm kill streaks. Run around in a circle. Farm, farm, farm. And you eventually could get legendaries and stuff. And this is like one of those standard places to farm this area. Just because the respawns are quick. It's a nice circular layout. So you can just kind of do a nice little farming route. And that's good. So if this place is packed, you do have other options. This is another like area that I think is pretty cool. Um, gotta give a shout out to the dude who shared it with me, Donnie Boom. Uh, he's also on my stream. He's tootin' in, but known as Donnie Boom. 
on, on the old Discord. So this is a great spot. Um, I was farming this solo a fair amount. Because the same sort of thing. There's a shrine here that spawns in. And this is held too, so my kill rate is a little bit slower. I just hit Paragon 30. Which is like kind of... You can go to hell too earlier than that. But you can do... These like five packs are, are pretty nice. And they're, they're pretty easy mob types. Those big rock dudes can stun you, so just be aware of that. Um, yeah, you just kind of go in a circle. There should be a pack right there. there sh and there should be... A, there's a pack right here. But yeah, there's usually a pack that's, that spawns right there. And then there's these guys. And then there's this pack. So you kind of just rotate... Um, rotate around those packs. And by doing that, you can kind of keep your kill streak going. And it ends up being smooth. And if you notice that the, the mobs have not respawned, it's because you're killing a little bit too fast. So, if you want to keep your kill streak going, you know, just do some auto attacks in the meanwhile, even if like you're doing this at hell more, even normal. Just, just slow your roll just a teeny bit. And the mobs should be able to respawn and you should be able to keep your kill streak up pretty good. So that, you know, they just spawn in on time. And just farm this up and just run this run this route. Yeah, there's the there's this back run this route, and this is another nice little place to spawn. Or a uh, nice little place to farm. Because the spawns are pretty consistent. You have a nice little like tight route to just run in a circle and farm. <laughs> but yeah, if if I think this this one seems better paced for solo. You can run it in a group, you just need to make sure that your team is kind of on the same page with farming up kill streaks. And the reason why farming kill streaks is good is because you do get a bonus on XP. I think the bonus XP might cap out at um, 100, but still. Bokathos guides my That's nice. Hand. That's a good spot. Uh, there's another good spot that uh, lives all the way over here in the Realm of Damnation. This little circle area right here, I'll show you. Um, this is this is another good one, like if, if, if like the, the library is super full or you don't like the library, or if you have a group that, that's, that's, you know, more than this. I feel like this area is probably fine. It has like a fair amount of rare packs in here sometimes. Um, that spawn above the waypoint, but what you're going to be doing is running this sort of, sort of little circular path. I'll show you in a second. This spot right here, just beat these dudes up. And then there's this little uh, area with the stairs, right? So I feel like this area is not quite as optimal for kill streaks because there are like little um, there are periods of time without mobs that you have to like kind of find a quick way to like really run up the stairs fast and stuff like that grab this guy real quick um but there are you know pretty good mobs and pretty good mob density too apparently we completed at the event whatever that is don't mind if i do um because yeah so you collected a little monster's essence so you're gonna want to grab those and from what i understand those those are gonna uh drop about every three minutes of like slaying mobs consistently so just keep that in mind but yeah there's just a lot of packs in this little area and once again, it's a circular route, so you can kind of just rotate through. And there's mobs that spawn on, like, these corners. This area. I'll just run through this thing. I don't kill everything. But yeah, so you run this route, right? Kind of take a look at all the mobs. There's mobs down on the other side, too, but we don't need to pull everything. And there's mobs that spawn in there. And then there's packs here. There's packs on the bottom side of this. There's a shrine that spawns in here. But yeah, there's, there's just a bunch of stuff. You kind of run and kill the guys up here. Then run down, and that's your route. And that's a nice little farming route. But the final spot, there's there's definitely more than this in the game. And we'll probably discover new ones. But the one that we were farming to Paragon 30 the other day is actually in Mount Zavane. Um, and this was uh, told to me by my buddy uh, Entertainment from the stream. We've been farming his surrender in game. We've been farming a lot together. He's in my war band. And he was uh, shown the spot by a guy named Toaster Bro in our guild, God, which is the best guild on the server. Um, it's this spot. So, lots of rares here. People probably farm this, might be farming it right now, as a matter of fact. Um, kill these guys. Uh, this is a, a really nice spot to farm. Um, it seems like the mobs respawn really quickly. You get access to shrine, like two different shrines spawn, including XP shrines. So, there's here's one shrine spawn right here. I'll snag that. And then the layout of the area is like these two little spots right here. This whole little area and the whole little area up top. They're pretty much what you rotate through. And there's tons of packs. The rare packs spawn in. Legendary mobs spawn in. You know, the yellow mobs, like the elites, spawn in. 
But yeah, you get all these to farm, and then, so you just kind of run across the bridge, and there's like a whole other area with another shrine uh, that can spawn in. So there's mobs that spawn all in this spot right here, mobs that spawn over here, mobs that spawn up top. Somebody's probably clearing this one. But yeah, this, you kind of just run like a figure eight loop in this area, and you can run it with a team, you can, I mean, you can probably run it solo to an extent. It's, I think this spot is like, definitely like a, you optimize for four man, unless you're really strong, and then you can just shred everybody. But, um, yeah, this place will just be, like, filled with loot. If you tune into my stream, you're gonna find it. Yeah, so here's an XP shrine. You're gonna you're gonna see this place just, like, littered with loot if you tune into my stream and we're farming this. At least that's what we were doing yesterday. It was really good. Got a lot of work done. So usually when I log in, I'll probably do my dailies. And then, and then like, for my farming, it'll be like, okay, so what do I want to farm today? Do I want to farm set items? Or do we want to farm uh, XP? As a free-to-play player, you're not really gonna be farming a lot of gems. You'll probably just get your uh, embers from running enough, you know, rifts for the week. If you wanted to farm your embers out, you definitely could. Um, but you'll be farming your embers out for the week to get the runes, to craft gems. Um, another shrine. And then you're pretty much, like, either doing dungeons for your set items and legendaries, or probably doing world farming for mostly XP and legendaries. But, once again, dungeons are still good for XP. It's just world farming is really... Powerful and this spot is like probably my favorite one right now. It's it's outside the mob variety is interesting You know you're fighting some classic moon clan dudes and uh, Shrines two shrines to spawn, you know, they can be power-up shrines. They could be XP shrines and XP shrines definitely give you a nice chunk of XP um, in hell too um, you, I don't think you get more XP for killing mobs, but you do get more XP for the shrine I believe like an XP shrine every little blue orb gives you like a couple thousand some, it's, it seems like to me, so. I need to make an update for my build, too. I, I kind of made my guy a little bit tankier now. And I got the Vortex Whirlwind, which is insane for PvP, so. I'm gonna do some experimentation with, with my uh, with my tank build. I think it'd be really good for free-to-play. Um, I'm excited. It's gonna be really disruptive. Really, uh, really, like, CC heavy. Kind of like a League of Legends, my like, tank brawler. It should be a lot of fun. But, yeah, this is the spot right here. This Moon Clan encampment is like probably my favorite farming spot. But I'm gonna get to work in the gym this morning so that we can get on here and, and do some more gaming. Just as a uh, quick review of my uh, experience so far, I've been playing completely free to play with Diablo Immortal and I've been having an absolute blast with it. Um, PVE and PVP have been fun. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly like, you know, it's, it's a mobile game, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the, the simplicity for me kind of makes it fun. I think where, where it gets um, simplified Definitely makes it, you know, palatable for a mobile, but also makes it fun to just, like, log in and grind it out. And, and I have I have some exciting things that I want to try in the game, with, like a PvP build. I think the free-to-play route actually probably makes it even a little bit more fun, because, like, you kind of get the feeling of the progression a little bit differently, and you get a little bit more variety of content to do. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just having a blast with it. Um, I think that the discussions surrounding the monetization strategies are definitely worth having. But when I log in, I have fun, and I don't really feel pressured by the shop because I'm just doing the free-to-play thing. Um, and that's that's been a blast. So, just wanted to show you guys this. Um, <laughs> that's an off-stream sub, by the way. Oh no, no, no! Uh, that's actually on-stream sub. <laughs> you know what? The, you know what that means? I haven't been looking at chat at all. That's hilarious because oh, I've Kothos what I what I've been doing is I've been recording a video. I meant to click uh, start recording, but I actually clicked start streaming out of habit. That is so funny. What's up, guys? <laughs> now I'm gonna have to pull this from the VOD. That, that's how you know I haven't had enough of my uh, my morning pre-workout because I clicked start streaming instead of start recording. But what's up, guys? Um, we'll be swap. We'll be actually probably turn off the stream and go into the gym here in a minute. That is hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video showing off this farm spot. But I guess what we did instead was uh, fire up the stream. What's up, guys? I was like, man, we got an offline uh, an offline sub, and I look at the thing, and it, we're actually streaming. That's funny. Uh, but yeah. This is the this is the uh, farm spot that we use to get basically from Paragon 25. We started at 24, but I I, I had some XP towards it. Um, basically to go from yeah 25 to 30 yesterday, and it wasn't like eight hours of like straight farming, but it was it was a fair amount of farming. But yeah, see like this this legendary guy spawned in just now. It's pretty cool. I don't like that he's shooting his uh, poison guys at me, but whatever. We'll take this guy out and we'll wrap up the video. But yeah, I want to show off a couple of the farming spots. I wanted to give a small discussion on uh, how to use the... So how, how often can I crit people in? 
Like, speaking of uh, grouping people in, I, I found this legendary that we need for that build last night here, which is pretty cool. And we found some good loot, so we're basically, uh, now that we're Paragon 30, no, we're, wait, where is he going? This, this is not where you spawned in, bro. What? <laughs> Unless he was, like, patrolling. I don't know why he came all the way over here. My health I might die. We'll see. Why did he come all the way over here? Whatever. I'm gonna kill this dude, and then we're gonna go to the gym and go from there. But yeah, just wanted to talk it through a little bit of the build. Uh, talk through a little bit of the uh, farming strategies. And then I uh, encourage you guys to go give it a try. Farm up some XP. Have some fun. Get some legendaries. There we go. What a great way to, to cap it off. And then, you know, whenever you're full, you're full up on loot or full up on uh, monstrous essence, hit the town, sell everything, come back, and uh, keep farming. But all right, let's 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 uh, wrap up, the, I guess, the stream. <laughs> Get to the gym. And then uh, have a good day of games and gains. Thanks for watching. Show the video some love if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Diablo Immortal content. See you guys soon. Peace.